What's up fans? It's me reaction bro back at you with another reaction and today's reaction we are going to do a strange addiction addition <laughs> and this strange addiction this man this guy has a relationship with this car like legitly he is sexually aroused and attracted to his own car like I don't know how that works well I guess if you can't get a girl, you could get a car. It's sad if a girl rejects you, but it's sadder when a car rejects you. And I don't know how that all works, but they're about to explain it. So let's get right to it. My strange addiction. Nathaniel asked me to come up here. Basically, he had something that he wanted to tell me. I don't know exactly what it's about, but I'd like to know uh, what's going on in his life. Yeah, uh, that's something pretty important I want to talk to you about. All right. Um... I'm, uh, I'm just going to come out and say it, I guess. I'm in an uh, intimate relationship with Chase. Um, oh. sexually and emotionally. You're in an intimate relationship with your car? Yes. Name the car and Chase? Sexually with your car? Yes. It's your car? Yes. How does... I don't... How does that work? How can you have sex with a car? Mainly, it's just a lot of just rubbing up against him. Um, okay. Um, and certain, and, and it involves masturbating as well. Hmm? Help me out. When did, I mean, this started, is uh, it? It mainly started when I was younger. I just didn't have a lot of friends. And um, you've always been kind of a loner. Uh, yeah, yeah. You've always and, liked uh, it alone. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, I just started having those feelings more and more after I hit puberty. And it just became more and more serious after that, as far as the sexual side and the emotional side. How do you get sexual with the car? Like motorcycle, you know, and I like my cars, you know, but I mean, I, I, they're cars to me. Right. They're not a sexual object, I guess, yep. as you see them, right? I right. mean, was it because I was it, wasn't really around? We just couldn't spend a lot of time. To, well, I mean, we you were, know, I had to stay with mom pretty much. Yeah, so you know away. something's wrong with a person is when they're I'm not blaming you for legitly I know doing has their to do car. With, I mean, I feel like it has part to do with not Actually. all, but part. Because I wasn't around, wasn't there for you. I mean, your fault. you know, I wish I could have been there for you and your sister more. I understand. When me and his mother divorced, um, the town that we were in just, there was not a lot of work. So the only way was to move off. But, you know, I wish we could get closer. I wish there was more time. It seems like there's a long time that goes between visits. Hopefully we can, we can get on a, a little bit closer relationship and I can- How do you know if your car is a guy or a girl? That makes you think. How do you know if the car wants you or not? These questions, are some big questions because we don't know if that car wants to be with him or not. You never know. <laughs> but there has to be something mentally wrong with him to think that he could be sexually with a car, metal, a gadget that's meant for you to go places, not meant for you to be in, if you know what I mean. Well, I hope he doesn't cheat on that car because after 200,000 miles, I trade in mine. <laughs> well, guys, that was the first Strange Addiction edition. And if you guys like my reaction to Strange Addiction and all the series of all of them, I know this wasn't really one of the big Strange Addictions because there's a lot of them. Leave it down in the comments what you guys want to see me react to on Strange Addiction. And if you guys like my reaction, hit that like button down below. And I hope I react with you guys next time on Reaction Bro. So like always, peace out.